Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. As you can see, we're doing an inside of the dressing room and today we're doing Torrid. This is my outfit of the day. This is just a top from Forever 21. The blazer is from Lularo. The jeans are from Torrid. We have quite a bit of awesome things to try on. There's a lot of new stuff in the store and let's go ahead and try this stuff on. I'm pretty excited. I haven't done an inside the dressing room for Torrid in a while. Let's do it. The first item that I'm trying on is called the Super Soft and Lace Oyster Gray Bell Sleeve Baby Doll Top. This is a super, super soft fabric, and they have a lot of lace right now at Torrid. As you'll see in this haul, there's a lot of things in lace. I'm not really a huge fan of baby doll tops on me. Um, I feel like they kind of make me look pregnant because I do carry a lot of weight in my stomach, but I think this one wasn't too, too bad. I like all the detail on it. I'm always a fan of bell sleeves, and I love lace. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really a big fan of strapless bras, and this top is kind of one of those tops that you need to wear with a strapless bra. I don't really mind. I normally will just show my bra straps. I'll try to just like match the top that I'm wearing to the color of my bra, but that's just something to know if you don't like your bra straps to show, you have to wear a strapless bra with this top. Also be careful if you're interested in this top because the back is pretty see-through. I am wearing a white bra. It does have black stripes on it, but it is white and you can still see it through this top. So that's overall, I thought this top was really cute. I just felt like there was kind of a lot going on. And this was in a size 3X because they didn't have it in a size 2 and it was $45.50. Next top that I tried on is called the Super Soft Black Lace High Neck Long Sleeve Tee. I am so obsessed with this high neckline in lace. I just think it looks so like Victorian and fancy. Once again, you can see your bra straps through this top, so I would recommend either wearing a strapless bra or just match your bra straps to this top. I feel like this top is kind of awkward though with the fit because if you can see like it's kind of tight on the top but then the bottom I just don't like how it kind of flows out on the bottom I feel like it kind of looks like the silhouette kind of looks awkward on me I would definitely want to tuck this into something because I just don't like how the bottom is kind of flowy I, don't I didn't get any footage of the back but the back actually has a keyhole and it does have a button at the top but this is like super stretchy so I don't think you actually need to use the button in the back super tempted to get this top but in the end I decided against it because of the fit on the bottom. Do you guys think I'm crazy? Let me know down in the comments if I should go back for it. I tried it on in a size 3x and it was $38.90. The next pair of pants that I tried on are called the wide leg tie front crepe pants in leopard. I know if you guys have been here for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with leopard print lately. They're in a crepe fabric, these pants are my favorite kind of pants to wear from Torrid because they're so comfortable and the fabric is so flowy and non-clingy. These pants were in a size 1 and normally I wear a size 2, but because of the stretch waist and a smock back, I was able to wear them. Another thing that I love about these crepe pants is that they have pockets. You guys know how I feel about pockets. Pockets are a must for me in pants. I also love that it has like a paper bag waist and it does have a removable tie belt. They are definitely a little bit too long for me. If you guys know, I am 5'4", so a lot of towards pants, unless I can get them in a short, always end up being a little bit long, so you would have to hem these. But overall, I think these are a really cute pair of pants, and they're worth the little extra bit of time if you can take them to like a dry cleaner or something and get them hemmed, because they're great pants. They were in a size 1X, and they were $59.50. Next item that I tried on is the black button front chalice midi skirt. You guys know I have a hate relationship with buttons. I prefer a faux button and so I was super impressed that this did have a faux button on a skirt. Also this skirt does have pockets and you guys know I love pockets. Sometimes pockets and skirts can add a little bulk but this skirt definitely does not have that problem. The skirt is unlined and it does have a pretty comfortable stretch waistband. Overall, I think this skirt is very versatile and can be worn with a lot of different style tops. I decided to pair that skirt with the super soft and lace walnut bell sleeve top. You can see, like I said, lace is really in at Torrid right now. 
It has a sweetheart illusion neckline and long bell sleeves and a flared hem at the bottom. This one kind of reminds me of that black top that I was wearing earlier where the bottom kind of seems awkward. I don't know what it is with the tops and the flared bottom, but I don't think I really like it. I feel like I would definitely want to tuck this one in as well. Overall, this is one of my least favorite tops that I tried on. I just wasn't a huge fan of the style of this one. The skirt was in a size 1X and it was $54.90. The top was in a 2 and it was $42.90. Next item that I tried on was this skirt. Sadly, I could not find this skirt anywhere online. I wanted to share it with you guys because you might be able to find it in your local Torrid. Honestly, I'm obsessed with the color of this skirt. It's like a purplish brown color. And then also it has faux buttons, which I love. It's kind of made out of like a corduroy sort of fabric. It totally gives me like 70s vibes. I like that the cut of this skirt flares out at the bottom and I think it lays nicely on the body. I like the length because it hits right above the knee. I also like in the back how it kind of shows that you have a little bit of a butt and then just flows off the bottom pretty nicely so that you don't have any unwanted panty lines. In the end, I did end up picking up this skirt and I love it. It is so cute and comfortable and I'm glad that I picked it up. The next thing that I tried on was this black and white striped mock neck tee. I have really been into high neck lines lately. Love that this top has three quarter length sleeves. They are really stretchy and comfortable. You can see this top is pretty long. I also think that this top is really versatile. I like the way that it looks with a skirt, but I think paired with a pair of jeans would look really nice too. I really loved how these two items looked together and I ended up picking up the top as well. The skirt was in a 2X and it was $55.50. The top was in a 2 and it was $34.90. I'll try on a few dresses for you guys. The first dress that I tried on is the black and white striped chalice button front shirt dress. As you can see, this dress has real buttons and it's a mess. Very rare that I can find a dress that fits my chest that has buttons. Normally it just is a no-go for me. This dress is made from Torrid's stretch chalice fabric, which for me is one of my favorite fabrics from Torrid because it's so soft and it has such a good amount of stretch. The skirt part of this dress was a little bit too flowy for me. I felt like there was just a little bit too much fabric. It does have a removable tie sash and it has pockets. For reference, I am 5'4", and the dress hit me just below my knee. The dress was in a size 2, and it was $68.90. The next dress is a dress I've been eyeing since I saw it in the Torrid catalog. It's the olive green sweater knit button skater dress. The buttons on the chest are non-functioning buttons, which we love. It has a nice v-neck. I love Torrid sweater dresses because the fabric is never scratchy. And give me all things in the color olive because I'm obsessed. The silhouette of this dress is a classic skater style, which I think looks great on so many different body shapes. If it was colder where I lived, I would definitely pick up this skater dress. I just don't have a lot of use for sweater dresses where I live, but if you love a good sweater dress, then I would recommend picking this one up because it's super cute and it's a great quality. I was wearing it in a size 3 and it was $75.50. I don't know about you guys, but I love Torrid's jeans. Most of the jeans that I own are from Torrid. This pair is the Bombshell Skinny Jean Premium Stretch in the color Medium Wash. I love the Bombshell Skinnies because they are fitted from my thigh to my ankle, and I feel like they enhance my curves nicely. I like this pair because of the light distressing. I believe I was wearing them in a size 18 regular, and as you can see, the length was pretty nice on me. The bombshell skinnies have an elastic waistband for all day hold and I do notice that I don't have to pull my pants up as much throughout the day. also have what's called a stitched back yoke which gives you a nice butt shaping effect. Bombshell skinnies also have a front interior mesh panel for light compression in your tummy area. One thing to note though is when I was looking up the reviews for these pants online, I did notice that quite a few people said that these to them ran a little bit small. This particular pair ran a little bit small. So if you like this pair of bombshell skinnies, then I would suggest possibly sizing up one size. I was wearing them in a size 18 and they were $85.50. I was feeling ready for Valentine's Day in this next top. This is the super soft red and black floral o-ring baby doll tee. Like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan of baby doll tops on me because I think they make me look pregnant. 
This top though is high low and I think you could definitely get away with wearing it with leggings. It is super stretchy but look how see-through the top is. I'm wearing a white bra and you can see through it even if it's not stretched out. I do love that it has the o-ring front detail. It gives me kind of like a bondage vibe which I think is kind of perfect for Valentine's Day. I haven't been really into florals lately but I really like that it's a red and black rose detail. I think that's really pretty. I was wearing it in a size 2 and it was $42.90. The last item that I tried on for you guys was the black herringbone pont drawstring paper bag pant. The pants are made with pont fabric which I've noticed is really soft and really stretchy. The pants do have front pockets. These pants give me more of like a sweat pant kind of vibe. I think it's because of the drawstring and I think it's because of the light gray color. I did pair these pants with a gray blazer and I felt like they looked a little bit awkward. These are pull on style pants and they are my favorite because they're so comfortable and they do have a paper bag waist which I think is really cute. They do have a nice tapered leg and I will mention the length of these pants was a good length for me because I am 5'4 and a lot of times towards pants are too long. I was wearing those in a size 2 and they were $59.50. That was everything that I tried out from Torrid. Let me know down in the comments what you guys' favorite piece was that I tried on. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram where I post every single day about plus-size fashion and makeup. As always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful, and toodles for now.